Employees at the Metro Juvenile Detention Center turn to News 4 investigates for help after they say this video shows just a snapshot of the violence they're dealing with inside the facility far too often and they need help. Yeah, Chris Jackman joins us live right now with more of the video you'll see only here on News 4. Yeah, Lauren Marius, the employee who sent us the video wants to remain anonymous, but says they want to see changes made to help ensure their safety. Staffers punched, kicked, dragged across the floor. The images captured by surveillance video from inside the Metro Juvenile Detention Center shows why staffers email News 4 with the subject line, help us, saying they fear for their safety and calling the center out of hand. There definitely are situations where we do not want to happen. That's the reaction from Juvenile Court Judge Sheila Calloway after we told her about the video. Juvenile Court oversees the facility, while Youth Opportunities of America, or YOA, manages the center. Does it concern you that staffers are saying we need help and we don't feel like we're getting answers from YOA? I, that definitely is concerning. If they have to reach out to the media and, and feel that that's a way that they can get heard, um, I would love for YOA to be able to address the issues prior to that happening. This is not the first time YOA's management of the facility has been called into question. There were calls to change management after four teens escaped the facility back in 2019. Not only did that not happen, but Judge Calloway's office tells us they're at the beginning of a new five-year contract with YOA, one that has substantial penalties if they violate certain conditions of the contract. YOA did not sit down with us, but released a statement saying in part, at YOA, we strive to balance the safety and needs of the youth with the safety of our valuable employees. Most often, the balancing of such interests can best be served with an adequate physical facility that allows for better separation of the youth and with supportive programs. Improving the detention center facility is something both YOA and Judge Calloway agree on. We need a better facility. In a small area like that, keeping youth in kind of a confined area where they're not able to um, truly have rehabilitation and get restorative issues going on. It's difficult. A challenge, but one everyone wants to see fixed. So incidents like these don't happen again. Now it's worth noting Youth Opportunity has a division that manages World Rosewood Youth Academy, where police say three teens overpowered a guard to escape this weekend. Rosewood Academy is overseen by DCS, who also just entered into a new five-year contract with Youth Opportunity, Marius. Carice, that video is very hard to watch. Mm -hmm. I gotta ask you, does Youth Opportunity's contract with DCS also contain penalties like the one you mentioned in your story? Yeah, Marius, we asked that same question. And if the escape would trigger a penalty. Now we're still waiting to hear back on that answer. Now when it comes to the escape at Rosewood Academy, DCS says they're working with Youth, youth Opportunity to renew the incident and a corrective action plan. Wow, Carice, working for you. Thank you so much. And